Welcome back to TCM Spotlight on Women at Work. I'm Alicia Malone and tonight's focus is on the 1930s. Next, we have a pre-code film that features Kay Francis as an executive who hires a male secretary. From 1932, directed by William Dieterle, it's Man Wanted. One of the pleasures of watching pre-code movies is how female characters had more agency. Often they came in the form of sexual agency, but here it's within the power structure of the workplace. Kay Francis plays Lois Ames, the editor of a magazine, and the film has some fun playing with the expectations of the audience and the other characters that the editor would naturally be a man. But she is fully in control and works hard. She's not interested in partying with her hopeless husband, played by Kenneth Thompson, who just wants to have fun. And when Lois's secretary quits, she hires the man who has come to show her a rowing machine, Tom, played by David Manners. He's been to Harvard, he knows shorthand, and more than that, he sees no problem being secretary for a female executive. When his roommate, played by Andy Devine, asks if Tom chatted Lois up during their meeting, Tom says, can't you get it through your fat head that today there are just as many serious-minded women in business as men? I didn't talk to her any, any differently than I would do a man. So I was doing some research on the history of magazine editors in America and came across a few stories about the trailblazing women who took on that job, which was typically seen as a job for men, even at so-called women's magazines. And I found a career guide published in 1916, which warned that editors, the reporters and the men who rewrite stories must be able to work under the pressure in a way that is beyond the power of women. From 1932, with cinematography by Greg Toland and also starring Una Merkel, enjoy Man Wanted. It's a great film, and I want to quote Professor Janine Basinger here, who, by the way, is this year's recipient of the Robert Osborne Award. About Man Wanted, she wrote, It's impossible to tell if it's a romance, a plea for female equality, or a celebration of the work ethic, but it is an example of role reversal and a positive one for the most part. Viewers are made to realize that they don't expect a woman to be boss or a man to be a secretary, but that it is possible. This was Kay Francis's first film at Warner Brothers, and her career was really taking off. But for David Manners, who was best known for his roles in the horror films Dracula and The Black Cat, he would only act for a few more years before retiring to his ranch and writing several novels. OK, don't go anywhere, because up next, Ruth Chatterton is an executive of an automobile factory in a pre-code film from 1933 that also stars George Brent. Next on TCM, female, then big business girl, and later, employee's entrance. TCM goes in the outdoor tonight. <laughs> 